Hi, hello. Hello. When we met first time, you were working on your PhD research. It was about Emil Ruder and the adaptation of his rules and his methods for the screen text-based communication. Uh, it was a few years ago. How are you doing now? How it uh, works in your present uh, experience as an educator and uh, uh, as a researcher? Um, okay, so I think um, I'm still thinking about many of the same things. Um, Emil Ruder was a Swiss uh, typographer, um, very much a, f a kind of a founding father of the of Swiss typography and modernist rules for typographic practice. So my PhD study looked at how could his framework for learning to practice typographic design um, be brought forward to um, designing typography for the screen. Um, so his, his work, uh, his, his main, I suppose, book, his method of teaching is broken down into nine kind of thematic uh, principles um, which cover a lot of the basic things like, you know, contrast, form, counterform and so on. Um, so I looked at how these would be applied uh, to screen. Um, very much around the area of moving typography, so dynamic typography um, and also interactive typography. They were the two main areas that I started to look at. And since, since that time when I started that research, I've, I've sort of moved those thoughts into maybe future forms of typography such as virtual reality, um, augmented reality, so where typography is existing in a virtual 3D environment or in a, uh, an existing 3D environment but maybe is overlaid as another augmented graphic layer. So they're, I suppose they're the areas that I'm looking at at the moment in terms of applying Ruder's framework or method of practice. Last to type. year you hosted Motif uh, Festival yeah. and you, uh, uh, you organised it uh, yes. here in uh, Dublin uh, and the topic was uh, future. So what do you think about the future text-based communication and how uh, it is developing in your opinion? Um, so ironically Ooh. Ironically, even though we say um, people are reading less, we are still producing more text than ever, bef ever before. Um, so on, on screens, um, we are sending more text messages, we are sending more emails, there's more and more text uh, articles, uh, information being published online than ever before in the history of print media. So, so actually, now and going forward, text is very relevant to our society. Um, and I think that um, data is a large part of this text um, for the future. And so, again, data, we've created uh, huge amounts of data. Uh, every citizen in, in the world who has a mobile phone or who goes online is giving information to companies about themselves and their their um, behaviors, um, their likes, the products they're interested in, the things they want to buy. So our governments are storing information about us. So there are databases all, all, all over the internet storing information about citizens in the cloud. And this information has to be interrogated, I suppose, to find out, um, you know, future laws, um, future future behaviours of society, what kind of things we're interested in, and designing that data is going to become um, a, a big problem for designers in the future. How are we going to design data, make it accessible, but also ethically present it in a way that we're telling the truth about the data, um, and um, you know that we present it visually in an accessible manner, but in a truthful manner.
What you are talking about is connected with the next motif, yes. uh, I suppose. Yeah. And, uh, and this is a kind of a very global collaboration which is slowly growing, like yes. a small snowball. It's, it's gaining more and more schools and people who are involved in how much internationalization and how much uh, cross-cultural uh, teaching on text-based communication uh, is important in your opinion? Um, so, I think text-based text, text -based communication, it, the principles of teaching text-based text communication or the principles of type, typographic design, in many ways they transcend language. So whether it's in German or Polish or English or even, you know, um, an Arabic script, many of the principles for design are, are the same and they transcend that. So. Actually, I think that we we share a lot of commonalities, um, and I think that you know there's so much. Um, certainly, in the English-speaking world, there's so much um, untruth, and there's so much fake news and um, censorship in parts of the world that it's really important that we communicate as as different cultures, and that internationally we look to we look to work together to. Um, to make sure the text is truthful and that we work against language, that we work against the language of hate, and that we, um, you know, we work together to come up with ethical design principles that work to this brief. We are very thankful being here, and thank you so much for organizing our visit and to help us to <laughs> to learn about school program and meet so many interesting. Uh, people, I hope you will come again to uh, our school and uh, uh, we, we can count on the next uh, workshops given by you for our students. What do you think about this kind of work which we uh, offer in our curriculum uh, based on workshops and visits of uh, yeah. international, international lectures. Uh, specialists, uh, uh, professionals, teachers working to our students? I think, um, so the first time that I came to do a workshop um, in Warsaw with your college, I was amazed um, by the opportunity to meet and uh, work alongside lecturers from other colleges around the world. Um, I think this is fantastic both for students and for lecturers because you get an exchange of ideas, exchange of concepts, approaches. Um, and methods and then you can take these new ideas back to your school and share them with your your students and I think that works um, both ways so I think it's a fantastic I idea I think it's um, it's beneficial for both staff uh, lecturing staff and for students to have this unique opportunity so I think it's something that we will look to do here and we hope to invite your um, your lecturers to come here to teach Would our students. It would be our pleasure to, yeah. to share and to yeah. participate in your program also, especially in such great uh, uh, surroundings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I hope we will continue. Thank yeah. you so much okay. for uh, today. I hope so too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah.